Greetings. Patrick here from Half Cheetah Will View. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Mark Polonia Week. Uh, as you know, Mark Polonia is one of our favorite directors. Uh, he has done many fun creature features and uh, with sharks, with uh, uh, all sorts of fun animals. Uh, he's also done some horror films. He's done Zombie vs. Bigfoot, uh, Amityville, uh, Amityville Island. Um, gosh, the, 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 the new doll shark is coming out. Um, <laughs> Sharkula, uh, Noah's shark. <laughs> you get the idea. Well, we're all here to all celebrate the idea of, of Mark Polonia because his biggest adventure is about to launch. That's right. This week, Mark Polonia is, is launching his new movie, literally called Amityville in Space. And to celebrate the movie and the notoriety that's going to come with it, um, Stephen and, and Miss Boomstick from House of Horrors have decided to do a Mark Polonia week, and they asked us me and Alucard from the Midnight Society to join them. So we are joining them to do Mark Polonia Week. Uh, we invite you to do Mark Polonia Week. Uh, you just go to Tubi and find any movie that Mark Polonia has done and watch and review it. doesn't matter what it is. Uh, there's some movies on uh, from Wild Eye. There's movies from SRS Cinema. Uh, a lot of them are on Tubi. So... Uh, Feel free to pick whatever one you want to re uh, review and do so. We're reviewing from the 16th of July through the 23rd of July. So um, I'm I'm in it. Me and the cheetah, we decided to climb on the Polonia bandwagon. And so here we are with our first review, which is 2016's Sharkenstein. That's right. Uh <laughs> Oh, my stars. Where do I begin on this one? Um, wow. Um, so anyway, I guess I'll start from the beginning. Um, there's 1942 and there are some German scientists that are performing, uh, experiments about, uh, about transferring the heart and brain, uh, into a shark. And, uh, unfortunately for them, they didn't get approval from the uh, SS. And so the SS comes over there and they want all the research. Uh, the other two German scientists resist and they're killed. Um, and of course the, the Gestapo take the, uh, take the, the, the experiment and they flee. Uh, then we see in modern day America, um, I don't know where they're at. Half this movie was on the ocean, half this movie was uh, on the lake. So I don't know, you, you pick. Uh, anyway, uh, that's what happens. There's shark is going around and eating people. Uh, cutting edge special effects. Uh, honestly, the shark looks just as good as Bruce did in Jaws. I, I'm not really actually too... That's not that far from the truth. Um, so it goes around and it's chomping around people. And uh, and of course, uh, we have our trusty hero, Duke Larson. He's out there trying to uh, trying to find out. He's, a, he's the sheriff, I guess. And he's trying to find out what's going on with the missing boaters and swimmers. Um... His dispatcher, who replaced the dispatcher, is the best actor in this movie. Uh, the dispatcher was funny as hell, sarcastic as hell. Uh, just she had a she had a lot of fun. Um, we had uh, we meet our other th other main characters, uh, Madge, uh, who's played by Greta Volka Volkova, uh, Coop, who's played by Titus Himmelberger. And uh, James Corlea, Cor Corliss, who plays Skip. And, um, and of course, the evil uh, Kloss, the, the German scientist, is played by Jeff Kirkendall. And so, um, and Kim Van Zandt is Duke Larson. There we go. We got our cast in there. So, anyway, um, Duke's trying to keep everybody safe. So, the three friends, Madge and Coop and Skip, they all come into the island. They're all coming for a vacation, so they ran out of. I uh, ran out of boat, and uh, head out for the water. They have a boat guide, and they head out to the water. And uh, Duke tells them to head for shore because something's you know fishy. Um, of course, uh, the, of course the boat breaks, and so while the captain is trying to fix the boat, uh, 
uh, Skip and Coop and uh, Madge all decide to swim to a local island, a nearby island. So they swim over there and they meet the evil Dr. Kloss, who's played by, like I said, Jeff Gryffindor. Um, nice guy. I really like Jeff. Um, so he plays the evil scientist. The, the, the three friends, they discover him and uh, he wants their help, whether they want to help or not, to transfer uh, uh, Frankenstein's monster's brain they're trying he's trying to pave the way to where uh, they can they can transfer the brains for other nazi officials um into sharks and there's a very funny line in there by madge who says you mean they saved you mean, you mean they saved hitler's brain uh which was a title of a, of a very infamous cheesy cult movie from the 50s or 60s uh that was the title of the movie they saved hitler's brain so uh definitely mark blurry has the sense of humor um, so, anyway, the, uh, the Dr. Claus, he goes a little too far in provoking Franken, uh, uh, Sharkenstein, and, uh, Sharkenstein eats him. So, the other three friends break out, and they gotta figure out some way to stop Frankenstein. So, um, so they all start swimming toward the, toward, to, toward Duke, who's coming to get them. Um, uh, and I won't tell you any more of that, because that'll ruin it. Uh, safe to say that not everybody makes it. Um, uh, and I just want to, uh, you know, as far as this movie goes, um, yeah, it's extremely no budget. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of laughs, believe it or not. I mean, I don't know if they're intentional or not, but they're they're funny as hell. Uh, the the effects are absolutely, oh, just no. <laughs> uh, but the shark is. <laughs> Shark. <laughs> oh my gosh. The shark the shark actually looks like Sharkenstein. Looks like Frankenstein's monster. He's all stitched up with like there's like four or five different kinds of sharks that stitched are stitched together. Um you know the kills are absolutely silly. Silly. Uh um I, I, I actually Kim Van Zandt as uh, Duke Larson, you know, he actually knows how to deliver a line. He wasn't half bad. Uh, I was a little surprised. Of course, Jeff Kirkendall was in there. Uh, I knew that he'd be bringing the noise, and he did. Uh, the other actors, uh, James Carolus and Travis Himmelberger and Greta Volka, were new to me. So, uh, and they were very, they were, they, were, they did fine. They did fine. Um, uh, James Cor Corliss as Skip, he wore his hat sideways throughout the whole movie. He looked like a, he looked like Will Smith from the begin uh, beginning of Fresh Prince, wearing the hat sideways. Um, and, uh, Greta, Greta, uh, uh, Volkova, Volkova, um, she is pretty attractive and, and her and, uh, 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 her, her Madge and Duke Larson have chemistry. Uh, so overall this movie was exactly what I expected. It was, it was, you know, 73 minutes of, uh, fun and frolic and laughs. Um, I liked how the uh, SS soldiers were wearing tennis shoes. <laughs> Oh my God, this cat had me in tears. Um, the submarine looked like one of those submarines you get from the cereal box. You put a little baking soda in it and it goes slowed up and down. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I will say this. It's obviously this movie was made with love and it's tongue firmly in cheek. Uh, anybody takes Sharkenstein seriously for one iota is missing the point. Uh, this is the fun movie. Um, you could definitely tell they're having fun making it. Um, you know, the dispatcher talking to Duke, definitely the highlight of the movie, hilarious. Um, yeah, this is a good way for us to go, get into Mark Polonia week with Sharkenstein. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and include the trailer down below so you can check it out. And they also made a, um, there's also a music video out there called Sharken, Sharkenstein, which you guys need to see to believe. All right, so that's our first uh, entry into Mark Polonia week. Uh, thank you for watching it. Go ahead, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit the sub button. Um, hit the notification bell so you can find out my other Mark Polonia reviews. And uh, leave a comment down below. And, and more importantly, do a review. Have some fun with this, because we certainly are. All right, thanks so much, and we will see you for the next one. Peace. Or I should say, surf's up.